Okay, hello and welcome to Thursday's stream uh, for Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Sorry, my chair. <laughs> we also are a bit wet today, so it's probably worth a little bit extra squeaky. So, uh, hard to see the uh, certain bits. Uh, Right. So yeah. Um, come back below. Okay. Um, just checking. Right. So. Yeah, a couple of quests left, which is nice. So, yeah. Um, and... No, I want... Okay. Jeez. Rude. Wait, really? Wait, you... So, I'm going to check something. Yeah, so can't speak to him. Okay, leaves. Yeah, I need characters that I got here. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to... Um... Oh. 
Wait, what? Um... Whoops. Um. There he is. Okay. Hmm. Technically, I'm Make a forest. Okay. Bad at that. Okay, you can get it from get that from here. <gasps> Just you know, just one of those, another one of those. Very, um. Um, <coughs> I'm trying to think of the word. Very, very slow day. Ricky just there, being himself. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, 
Hmm. tadi. Kayaknya. Okay. Go switch to the all three. Okay, I thought there'd be more challenges unlocked. I'm actually uh, surprised. Let's 
Tiersa. Take the aggro. Sorry, I'm just... Sorry. Gee. Really? There is a change target. Second, oh, the boss thing. No, not here. Okay. Okay. So. Um, I 
guess. Um, well, Okay. Yes, that's what we're doing now. I didn't expect to be done as quick as we were done, so. Um. Trying to think of where. Let's go this way, I guess. Goes. Yeah. Don't really have any other ideas. Oh, I need this as an item I need from you as well.
Hey, uh, Matt. Um, how are you doing there? Yeah. Really should get heat haze active earlier. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've, this is, well, second playthrough on the channel, and, like, my seventh or eighth, um, overall playthrough, um, having played through it multiple times since back on the Wii. Yeah, believe it or not, I am someone who owns the original version. So, oh yeah, love this area at night. And of course, the badass that has done bad. <laughs> but how are you doing anyway? Shala. to get the uh, um, need Monado Attack it quickly. I think I was purging at the time. Oh, damn it. I don't know if I need those for anything, but yeah, take them just in case. There. Oh boy. Okay, you know what? I got a, an idea. 
Stay grouped together, please. Oh. There. All right. Um. <clears throat> oh man. Mom. Push him away from me because I need to get my Minoto off again. No! Oh, come on, game! That was annoying and unfair. I had that. So close! One of the other ones that were there, that's the problem. Probably would have helped if I had Shara in the team, but... And now uh, I've kind of disregarded my health a bit. Come back over and get through it. A quest done.
Oh, I know the one that's going to be the hard one. <laughs> oh, we're going to have fun trying to get some iced cabbages. into the Monado Purge. Too useful. Yeah, No, I lost it immediately still. Even though I have to Come on! Purge. Oak! Every freaking time I can purge him, just mobile. Immobilized. Yeah. Oh, 
come on I'm stuck with this now Shala heal give you all these healing odds for a reason yes, huh? That's cool. Mm. No one's there yet. Um, yeah. Now I'm on. Here. And Ricky. Again, um, boys. Right. And Hey Dusk, how are you doing there? <laughs> um, I mean, what have you got on hand?
Um, have you played the demo yet of the um, for the new one? See, I don't. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, you see, I'm not that good at those sort of games to do the master settings, so it's. Lower settings for me. Yeah, I know. Not the. Not the nicest. And here now comes the scarier journey. Yeah, the AI won't get in the way. Although it's nice that I can actually see the path this time. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. I was doing a lot of it, I um, mean, co-op and, well, it's whenever I have someone to help me do it, which, not anymore, really. <coughs> uh, there's usually ice cabbages on this route. There isn't any. Kind of a pity, because I uh, really hoping to get the ice cabbage up there. Oh yeah, what are some of these turkins? to say otherwise. <laughs> hey Alex. Um not quite the no, right the right place though Alex. with the demo is that save data is going to carry over so oh got a nice cabbage in an area where 
Huh. Oh. Not normally their spot. So. Ye. Uh, yeah, how are you, Alex? Come back here, Lexus. Come on. I want to fight you. Over here. Come this way a little bit more, please. There. Yeah, people up to anything good anyway. <laughs> right in the middle of me doing the cool move. Way to ruin it, game. Continue exploring up here later. I want to get a side quest. I say side quest, story progression, but one particular element of story progression I want to get done. So. Okay. Oh, heck, 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 heck. That. Oh, okay. Whatever that means, I, I really don't know. So. Okay, oh, some skill. Oh, sweet, that's finished. Okay, um. Hi, Susie. That's. There. Okay, I kind of get it. I really don't know. How are you doing, Sozy?
Okay, I can top on this thing. Yeah. Yeah, people up too much in a minute. Oh geez, that that's yeah, not helpful. Chrome, don't be mean. Something really needs to be done about that headache because it's getting kind of a bad thing. Shala, um, think you might be able to deal with Susie's headache because you know you're the medic. <laughs> well, to be fair, like with some of the bits with Dark Souls, other people want me to do it, so, you know, it's not like I always choose to have Dark Souls on. So. And I heard a ding, so is that a Susie or an Alex? Okay. I'm trying to remember how to get to the tower now. I believe there's a passageway down here. Oh, oh also in tower? Yeah. Uh, uh, one place. Go. 
me there is a little passageway through from the main path. Yeah, there should be. Uh. Oh, there's a few. There it is. Just know okay, that was. Oh, yeah. you've been up to Dan? Uh, well, I had to go out to pick up watchdogs. Oh. oh yeah. God, that, yeah, that really? it's a Thursday. And they released Watchdogs Legion on Thursday, so. Is it, that was today? Yeah. That's what I mean. I was surprised. I got the, you know, the text from Game this morning, like, yeah, your copy of Watch Dogs Legion's in stock. Um, you can collect it today. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, I checked online and yeah, today is the release date, apparently. Yeah, I know. It's the com weirdest release ever. No idea. So, I mean, especially for it to be a triple A game released on a Thursday. I mean, we've seen like um, you know indie games on a Thursday and whatnot, and but yeah. There we go, Charlotte. That was a nice shot. So, yeah. Oh, when did mm. these get ready? See, uh, she just uh. Oh, well. I mean, next thing to pick up will be the weird. You know, okay, like, so you think it may be weird them releasing um, um, Watch Dogs Legion today? I am next to having to go to game on the 12th of November to pick up Demon Souls and Spider-Man Miles Morales. Yeah. Even though I cannot pick up a PS5 that day because of having to wait an extra week because Sony have gone screw Europe. Yeah, PS5 games can be sold in Europe the week before the PS5 is released. In Europe. Because that makes sense. Do you want to buy hardware for a... Oh, sorry, hardware, sorry. Do you want to buy games for a console you can't buy yet? I mean, seriously, I don't think we've seen that yet. Oh my god, so much money is going to be going out of my bank account soon. Oh dear. There's a Animal Crossing pastel collection that is exclusive to the Nintendo UK store. And you know how rare it really get these things right? So... Mm. Oh my god. PS5 been picked up two wait, so people can actually be buying their PS5s now in America and going home with them? The heck? Yeah. Jeez, that that's crazy that people can actually just buy their 
PS5 right now and actually have it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I know people have, um, you know, Sony have been, you know, shipping, you know, obviously the PS5 to media outlets and, uh, you know, the selected influencers that they'll send it early to, but, yeah, I, uh, So it seems odd that, you know, shops are breaking the street date. Oh, um, oh my god. <laughs> what's up? I need to stop. <laughs> Sawzy? I just looked at the toe. <laughs> what I spent in the Pokemon Center last year. Oh. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, even then, like... <sighs> like, this was a major... Th this was a major thing, like, you know, that... You know, like, we're told it's not available until this date, so therefore it should be not available Till the date. And if you sort of get where I'm going there, it's especially like, because not. So obviously that's going to not, not even be a constant that. Um, of places offering it early as well. So. Yeah, so he said she was buying some Animal Crossing stuff. <laughs> My bank account nationwide is gonna be having a frickin' riot. <laughs> Why well, is your bank account hit zero? No, I know I know currently how much I do have in there, but I mean on this one day because I believe it's the exact same day or a couple of days before when I get the Mario Thirty Five stuff. So my bank is going to be like, "What? Stop!" Mm. <laughs> oh no! Delivery option. I am doing the delivery option. Get us. Oh boy. I literally just spent how much I spent in the Pokemon Centre last year. Hmm. Uh. And considering you only spent uh, money the other day on books. Get to use your voucher. I used my voucher. <laughs> yeah, but not on the order you wanted to. 
No, so I spent seventy seven pounds. <laughs> and then bought two extra books because I didn't use that. So how much did you spend in the end? Uh hold on, I'm working it out. Yeah, when is the Mario 35 stuff releasing? Because that's going to be a lot of money going on my account yeah. in one month. Da, 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 da. And this is why Zorzi never has nice things. It, it is exactly why I never have nice things. And this is also where I can imagine there is a cat staring at you, just like woman. That money is meant to be spent on us. Oh no, they're fast asleep. They're they're, they're fine. They're having their own. Time. Oh yeah, like oh uh, yeah, dusk. Age of Calamity is a vastly improved game over its predecessors. Oh, my God, I I I. I love it. Yeah. So what are you saying about the cats, Susie? <laughs> Well, actually... Oh, hello. Uh, oh my god, creepy. Well, creepy Luigi, know. shove it in the corner. Oh. In the corner, bury it, cool everything that can kill him. Oh god, Never yeah. touch the 3DS version. Mm. See, I got the Hyrule Warriors, um... N3DS because that actually looked kind of cool with all the you know the symboling over it, but yeah, I just got the comp kill it with fire. Luigi's just dead. That's it. Yep. Matt Pat was right all along. And we can use this rock to melt the ice. Uh, yeah. I believe so. So, shall we head to the cave? Sounds good. Alright, work this out. One, six, five. Oh, yeah, cool and cold. It's fine. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, I was given extra time at work today. Well, that's neat, though. Because extra time normally means more pay, doesn't it? Which, in Alex's case, means I'm going to claim these cards. Because Alex decides he gets paid in Magic the Gathering cards. I mean, why not? To be fair, like, they're not doing great in terms of sales this month. Like, but they're a bit behind. So it's like, I mean, I'm trying to get the rest of these cards anyway. Uh, I mean, if I can just lessen the, the amount that they have to pay, so they can stay on top a little bit. Mm. That's, fine. That's actually pretty sweet. Mm. I mean, I don't want them to close down, because, you know, <coughs> if they close down, then there's not really going to be anywhere for me to play uh, Magic the Gathering anymore. Yeah. Wait, I thought it was just a small, uh, like, place that didn't have, like, a gaming area. Oh no, it, it, it's the local, it, it's, uh, it's the local Magic Gathering store that actually does hold events. Uh, but obviously during these times they, yeah. they're not getting any money from like Friday Night Magic, so they don't want to do hmm. other events. And that's why I like to support Games Workshop in store. Yeah. Because again, you can have the gaming tables and whatnot. Yeah. I sadly don't have that luxury. Well, well some do was just Yeah. Oh boy. It's a bit of a trip. Yeah. 
pass by, they help. I help the shop owners get about five hundred pounds worth. So. Oh, yeah. no. It's also kind of the reason that I still, even though I hate going out, I still want to support game locally because, again, it mm. I find it much more practical going in store. Yeah. Okay. So. Basically, the store has a limited number of first edition Japanese Pokemon booster packs that were just lying around. Oh my. Hold on, I thought this was a magic shop, not, um, Pokemon. Yes, but, but the owner, uh, used to collect Pokemon cards a lot. And he had these lying around. And they're from the set called, uh, the Town on No Map, which, in the English set, means uh, it's, uh, the set called Aquapolis. But back in 2002. Yeah, because I believe that one is and, um, uh, advanced generation. Yeah, it's like the e-cards. The e-cards, if you remember. The w yeah, for a mechanic that never re never got released outside of Japan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So that. Um, yeah, they've got uh, a limited number of packs of those and. Uh, I helped sort of look up the pricing and I set up the eBay listing and they've mm. sold four packs. Five technically actually. Oh, uh, wow. So and they and, yeah, they were, <laughs> we put them at like 135. Mm. All I'll say though, Dusk, um, with the, say with the, with the 3DS version of Hyrule Warriors, because I knew someone who bought the 3DS version but didn't have a Wii U, they gave me the code so I could download the 3DS content onto my Wii U. I think I did that with Shannon. So, I got to play the 3DS content in a much higher graphical quality from the get-go. Have you got enough for a console, Susie? I'm not buying a console, please. But I might as well be buying a console. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? It's like you spend all these little amounts and then you look at like how much you ended up spending with this and it's just like Oh. <laughs> what was that? Or I could have gone on a console. Pretty much. Uh, Although pretty much. try buying one at the minute. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's actually pretty impossible at the moment. Yeah, I mean, I don't intend on, like, getting one for a decent and while. I mean, my brother will probably get one before I do, and when he does, the PS4 will become available, so... Go to see, go on to CEX's website and then just start buying a load of games cheaply. Pretty much. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that was a... Why do they bother doing it for the 3DS? Because that doesn't make sense. What did they do for the 3DS? They switched Link to being right-handed in the 3DS version of Hyrule Warriors. I didn't even notice No, that. I didn't even realise they did that. Just like, why? I've played mostly the 3DS. Wow. Wait, Link's left-handed? Yeah. This is why there's a bit of controversy with Breath of the Wild and comments that A.G. Anuma stated. Because Link's been left-handed since the very beginning, with originally only two exceptions. And those are the Wii version of Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword. Due to the motion controls. Um, but um, when they... But, yeah, obviously, with the um, Wii U version of Twilight Princess, because it was based on the GameCube version, they, um, what was it, um, they, um, you know, had Link left-handed. And then the trailer for Breath of the Wild, ca uh, Wild came out, and Link was oh. right-handed. And when asked, Anuma's reply was, Link is going to be right-handed, because you press attack with your right hand. 
And I mean, maybe, maybe Link just forgot how to use his left hand after his one hand. Well, he's, but Anuma's confirmed going forward, Link will just be a right handed character. Yeah, bear in mind, the reason everyone loved you know, he was very popular because, you know, he was one of the first left-handed characters in a video game. Um, does it matter too much? Um, well, you know how obviously people want the, you know, diversity and whatnot. Yeah. Link was a major thing for left-handed people. Yeah, but when he was historically left-handed in the first place. But, I mean, the thing is, I mean, was him being left-handed a defining characteristic of Link? Somewhat, because it made him stand out. But was that a characteristic, like, of him as a character that made, that, that made him who he is? Mm. Yeah, but at the same time, again, it's he was that many years, and it was why, and like I said, it's the only reason it was accepted that he had gone, he was being left-handed during the Wii, was the motion, sorry, I'm sorry, gone to right-handed on the Wii, was the motion controls. And at the time, we were told that it's only a temporary thing because of the Wii's motion controls. And even, to be more precise, the, one of the, fir the first trailer when it was known as Zelda U, um, he was actually holding the sword left-handed. And then when we got gameplay, he was back to right. So... But the whole reason for it being the right hand, just because you press attack with your right hand is the most stupid reason ever. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. Change, I mean, there yeah. was, there's not really a point to changing it. I mean, it'll be like, you know, um, complete, you know, like, you know. But I mean, like, to someone like me, who didn't even realise Link was left-handed to begin with, the whole thing of him swapping from right hand would have just flown right over my head and I would have noticed. That's the, like... Yeah. I mean, it'd be the, it's similar to if they swapped, um... There's something you're swapping over certain things, like to you know do it the other way round. I mean, like the thing that Jim Sterling hates with one of the Dynasty Warrior games, where his favourite character used a specific type of weapon, mm. uh, which was unique to him, uh, the, uh, that character, and then when it when the latest Dynasty yeah. Warrior games came along with the whole. I don't know if it was like microtransactions and whatnot. Well, I remember it being them. He was bringing up what they said at the time was to be more realistic and yeah. and whatnot. And then they, they then later they put it in VAR DLC. Yeah. Oh yeah, that that bit. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's kind of like on the same level, isn't it, really? Yeah, but Nintendo were not trying to make money out of you by selling it back to it, by selling you the fix. <laughs> Could you imagine Nintendo sold you the left-handed link as DLC? <laughs> I think people would probably be like, no, it should be the other way around. <laughs> yeah. Um. I mean, uh, from an overall like gameplay perspective, I'm not sure... The whole thing matters a great deal, but I can understand it being a bit frustrating for, you know, people who saw it as, like, a left hand icon. And bear in mind, like, how old, how long ago that was. Hmm. 
So when you think about it, he like I mean, this was before the whole idea of inclusivity existed. I mean, if you also think about it, that's been Link's image since the very beginning. Yeah. Well, well, has it been, like, you say image, mm -hmm. like, you say image is in, you mean in the terms of, like, you know, that's how, like, his, it's his look. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, like, it would be yeah. like if they, um, if Microsoft decided to, like, recolor Master Chief. Uh, there is one suit that is actually silver. Yeah, I know, but... Like, Problem is, with Iron Man, it's been well and truly established. He has all those different suits, so... Yeah, true. But, I mean, when... Whereas, obviously, when thing, you think Master, with Master Chief, he is only one, you know, main colour. True. But, I mean, I'm probably, like, the first Iron Man was probably, like, one colour, and then they added in more colours. Uh, he's always had the sort of orange and gold look. The one thing that's been changed, like, over the years is, like, the ratio. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I can see the, like, the whole ratio thing. Yeah. That's kind of just what they've played with over the years in adjusting, just, like, you know, how much is each... How dominant is each of the two colours. For the earlier ones. Like I said, if we're talking about cartoons, yellow. So it's gold. See, that's all. That's what it is. It's yellow. Yeah. It's, in Citadel terms, it's Uriel yellow. I mean, but you, know, you see the whole bit though, like, when you take something that's been, you know, so well established, and then, and then change, you know, detail on it. That's where you can hit, that's where it gets all more complicated. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I understand the sentiment. I think for me, just, just, just like based on what it is, it's kind of, uh, I feel like it's a bit more like a minor story than a major story, like compared to like changing a character's gender or like, because those are definitely like much more noticeable for the vast amount of people. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean it is like, because it follows on like a lot of people want in like shooter games characters to be able to hold the, you know, like, you know, the gun in their left hand instead of the right. And it's always a case of no, because that will break the game's balance. Even though technically, you know, you are favouring, you know, being able to shoot the other side. And then bear in mind, most aim is just centred down the middle anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um, I can sort of and it's not, and I will say, it's not breaking real world things. There are legitimate, you know, a lot of guns nowadays are built to be able to have their, you know, um, casing injection be left or right. Just like a couple of parts inside they have to change. Yeah. So Poor it. Jeremy Clarkson. He 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 shot an AK. He's a grand tour, and he just got a lot of bullet shells go up his arm. That, which which arm was he trying to fire from? Hmm? Which arm was it? Because uh, he's I mean, he's a even though he's right-handed, I think he's a left-handed shot. Yeah, so he was probably trying to fire a gun configure here yeah, that's built for right hand. Yeah. Now anyway, obviously AK is an older weapon, so I don't know if it necessarily has that capability, but I'm saying like modern weapons. Yeah. But yeah, like the shells pop out from the, the uh, on the along the left right hand side of it, I think. 
Well, okay. no, no. If the gun is, if the gun is a right-handed gun, the oh no, yeah, the, the shells will yeah kick out on the right. If it's a left-handed gun, they'll kick out on the left. Yeah, and because he was yeah, it was a right-handed gun, mm. and the shells were coming out mm. to the right, but he was holding it in the left hand. So when yeah. he was holding it, he had the arm, like his he had his right arm at the front of the gun, mm. and then the shell popped out and just you know hit him along the arm. Yeah. Obviously, some guns, like some handguns, just kick the shell, the um, casing out, you know, vertically above. Yeah. But yeah. Well, at that point, then it's kind of like if you're looking down sight and the bullets come going, you know, as the shells are flying up, which it might. Well, no, you've got to bear in mind of a handgun. You're not putting your face to it. Well, well, yeah. If, you are, if, it, if it's a handgun, yeah. Well, That's why I said handguns. The somehow that the, they can have um, the, have it eject vertically, True, yeah. rather than horizontal. So. Revolvers don't have that issue. Nah. And I have like seen. I remember it was used on MythBusters once. The because of the type of experiment they were doing, they. A, they had a like uh, casing catch attached to to the handgun, so um, when it would jettison the uh, spent casing, it would um, catch it, as the name would suggest. Which was done for their safety because of what they were doing with it. But, you know, obviously that's, that sort of device is not considered normal. Yeah. But, yeah, like, if you look on a decent amount of modern guns, you can see, like, on their side panels where the ammunition goes. Like, they'll often have, you know, one side blocked and then the other side open. But you could tell that it's mirrored, so they could have it the other way. It's because the mechanism that jettisons it, it's like on a curve. So, on a, obviously on most guns, it will be curved to go to the right, but all they have to do, like I say, normally is like flip the part around and then and it will just leave the other side open. And, oh look, it's now exposed on the left. Yeah. So, it's not always the way like that, but like a, from what I'm understanding, that is the most common format so but yeah I mean like I say it's it's also just the fact that it's a case of yeah this is going to be the normal now even though it's like well there kind of goes some of the the standard things Which is also going to make um, awkwardness for anyone who visits Nintendo's offices because um, there's a statue of Link in them. So... That's... Oh, man. I'm trying to think of anything else happening on the... What's everyone been doing? What's everyone been doing? Well, apart from picking up Watch Dogs Legion today, nothing else. You've got Legion. Yes. Yeah. Because we, we talked earlier about the weirdness of it being released on a Thursday. Is that crossplay? Uh, no. It's going to have cross-gen. So. Well, I suppose you could still do Watch Dogs 2 anyway before you. Yeah. Legion. Probably. Though I have played. Like I say, I have actually. I have played 2 before, so. Yeah. I just have that extra copy on the PC. Yeah. The default. Which got for free, so. 
I mean, if we wait, if, if, if you're able to postpone that, it's like, very serious, and then it's probably going to be a fool. Well, the only thing is, like, obviously, because the... The only the bit would be is I'd end up with a new game plus file and you you know keep all the really cool super powerful hacking things. Because I completed the PS4 version ages ago. No, I'm talking about Legion. Oh right. Sorry. Yeah, like if we wait long enough. Yeah, long maybe we'll. Was... Well, like I say, I'd probably still want to do two first anyway, just because. Yeah, that's why I was saying, like, mm. if you do two first, mm. then I might delay it, delay Legion long enough. Maybe. Oh, yeah, that mentions uh, Susie. Huh? Yeah, um, yeah, Alex might be joining us for the Platinum run on Dark Souls 3. Nice. Depends on how long it will take my brother to get a PS5. Yeah, but we're probably not going to do it until next year anyway, so... Yeah. Because, yeah, if my brother gets PS5, I can probably use the PS4. Well, I can say probably. I mean, Take it anyway. Isn't it a shared? Yeah. Well, as Susie said, isn't it actually meant to be shared? It is technically a shared system, yes. Yeah. Even though I have put in probably about one hour on the system in the last year, probably. Yeah, but then obviously you mostly were had uni to deal with, so. Yeah. Plus also had an Nintendo Switch. Yeah, but like I say, the whole bit is the case of um, you, you know, sort of. You know, he can't just up and get rid of it without checking with you. Yeah. Otherwise, then... Technically, I do technically own some games for the PS4. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, yeah, so basically once my brother gets PS5, because that's what he's earning money to get, mm. essentially. Spending it on a PS5, not booze. Good choice. Yep. Uh, Definitely. Then, I agree with that. Then the PS4 should be available for me to use and get... I like how you do say should, though, implying that he might screw you over. Yeah, or just, you know, hang on to it still and... Yeah, but you can point out that it's, you know, the PS5 will have the backwards compatibility and everything. Yeah, so he'll be able to play with his friends on the PS5, even though, even if they have only got the PS4. Although, I, I don't know, does that work with, like, uh, games that are currently out, or like... I don't know. Obviously, well, cross-gen, when they speak about that, that's referring to, you know, a PS5 game working with a PS4 game. Um, um, I don't... Well, I'd assume PS4 game to PS4 game played on PS5 still works. Because, um, I think, I think the main games my brother tends to play is, like, Warzone, which is free, and... Yeah, that's uh, cross-play as well, isn't it? Yeah, and then Overwatch? They, have they enabled cross-play on that? Um, I don't know, actually, if they're working on that or not. Or was that something I believe, or did they mention that was going to be a thing for the sequel? Have they even announced um, the new gen versions of it, or are they going to leave that for um, Overwatch 2 to handle? Because that was the big thing I remember them mentioning about as a selling point, that the multiplayer will support the original version. Yeah, I know, yeah, Overwatch 2 is supposed to be uh, able, just supposed to still be able to play with anyone who's got uh, Overwatch 1 and you keep all of your skins as well that you've got in Overwatch It's basically, it's more like Overwatch plus single player. Pretty much. 
It's Overwatch single player plus new characters. But they did say like the, all the, the well yeah all the new stuff was coming to the old version anyway. Yeah, all the new yeah all the new characters will come to the old game as well, as well as the new modes and maps and whatever. Mm. There's yeah literally the only thing that's technically different between Overwatch and Overwatch Two is the campaign. Mm. As far as I know. Mm. So. There might be other stuff. I don't know. Who knows, really? But yeah, it's. Uh... But if, well, they can't really do much difference when it comes to multiplayer, um, at least for the main multiplayer stuff. They could put some, you know, modes unique to Overwatch 2. Uh, but then again, they, they, said, they said it, you know. Everything Overwatch 2, everything from Overwatch and Overwatch 2 you can play together. Mm. Yeah, but I think they're going to leave it Overwatch 2 to handle um, PS5 and Series SX. You know, to be the dedicated release for them. Yeah. So, people really want to jump in on Overwatch before Overwatch 2 is out on the new consoles, they can easily just go and buy the old version. Yep. So. Don't you just hate it when you don't even touch a mouse and the computer just turns back on? Uh, I don't know, I turn the screensaver off on mine. No, I put mine to sleep. And it, um... Yeah, I don't even do that. Yeah. Mine is on full time. Well, I say full time, you know, when it's. All I do is just turn the monitor off. <laughs> when I'm not going to use it for a bit. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, it's just that I can't comment. You sometimes lose screens. So, you obviously don't want that to happen, so I feel like putting it to sleep might mitigate that to some degree. Hmm. Has has the has Susie tried um, Crown Tundra yet? I haven't yet. Well, I need to. Well, I have good reason. You have good reason. Pokemon is banned on stacks. She's in what? <laughs> it's what now? My mum has banned me from playing it downstairs. Mm. And my Switch kinda at the moment lives downstairs. Why? Because I play games on it during the day down there. And then when I come to bed at night, I normally just read. But why Pokemon in particular? Because she got really annoyed when I played the first DLC. But, but what? She really does not like Pokemon. You should buy her Pokemon. I am not buying her Pokemon. I don't want to die. <laughs> Have it from the cats. Dear God, no. Yeah. Oh my God, a stress banana. Yeah. Get me out, Flushy. No, that is tempting. The other thing would be, um... Oh, what's it? There's some secret tunnels that I can't use yet. Um... I can't think of anything else at the minute. Um, yeah. Did that appear on, uh, on your, on your uh, Switch, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> well, I just said you, you're online, that's what it said. Oh, I didn't say what game I was losing up. Nope. Uh -huh. 
I have a feeling I know, so... <laughs> it's so good. Okay, I'm on. Okay. Yeah. I really am loving it, though. Alright. Bye. Oh yeah, I got halfway through it as well, and they unlocked uh, another mode, actually, that I had no idea was existed in the game. <laughs> Uh, they unlocked a mode, it unlocked a mode called Survival. It makes me think, wait, do you get to run around the whole, like, all the sectors just freely and just, you know, just gotta survive attacks from, uh, Foundation X, Door Pants and Greeds and Yummies and whatnot. Yeesh. Sounds like fun. Yeah, or it could be a wave survival thing. Yeah, or a wave survival thing. Yeah, it's just, man, like, this game makes me smile so much. It's fabulous. <laughs> Definitely, um, best game of the year material. <laughs> nah, th this game wouldn't win any, um... Well, problem is, because it's, like, locked to one region. Yeah. Uh, well, no, it's actually locked to Japan, China, Korea, and... Yeah, so Asia. Southeast Asia. Yeah, so the Asian region. I'm guessing this is the common Rider game? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, it's... Uh, uh, survival mode. So, gonna... it might get some awards in Japan, but... Nah. It's probably going to be overshadowed. Oh, does that mean that does that means no form swapping then? Yeah, looks like it. Jeez. Oh wait. Flying Falcon. Plot twist: Jin now shows up and steals it. Damn it! Damn it, Jin! Not again! The rider change is a thing, I don't want to talk about that. Or is it like, uh, if you do it without rider changing, you get rewards? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. This game has made me want to watch Double again. And I am so grateful for that, because I love Double. Oh, I thought you hated Double. <laughs> No, Double, Double is definitely my favourite of the series. Mm -hmm. cool. By the way, Shining Assault Hopper is really cool to play as. How high do they go with Zero One? Um, literally 
as you get him, he has all of his upgrades that are available to him, like, in the game right at the start. Yeah, but I mean, what's this? Just... You get Rising Hopper, Flying Falcon, Shining Assault Hopper, uh, Metal Cluster Hopper as the uh, form changes, oh, yeah. and then you get Zero Two as the um, super form. Mm. Each rider has a super form that reduces their EX bar, and yeah. well, zero two, zero one is obviously zero two. It didn't. It's interesting that they just went straight to uh, Shining Assault Hopper and not Shining Hopper. I think Shining Hopper is one of the coolest lines after Transformation. Also, no breaking mammoth. It's breaking mammoth. Yeah. What did you want? I want to be able. I'd want to be able to run around in the giant mech suit. Yeah, I mean, none of the riders have that in this game. I mean, technically, only. Um, Zero One has access to that. Yeah, true. Double has just the various attachments for the bike. Yeah. Um, O's... Well, um... Yeah, O's is kind of the weak one there, because he doesn't have, like, a support machine. You say that now, but, like... You have not seen how broken Gatakiri Bat is. Like, Jesus. I mean, in the in one of the films, he just clones himself to have every single um, combo in play. And that's OP that he was able. He could do oh. that. I I just love that so much. Because oh. each each um each character, each, you know. When you press the A and the X button, they do a special move. You know, they do like finish a move um, that they, you know, have for whatever form they're in. Yeah. Right? With zero one, it actually does the, um, you know, the the letters on the screen. Yeah, you've mentioned. The... I know, but it makes me so happy. They're also missing the best rider from that series. Yeah. No one wants to play as Aruto, everyone wants to play as Fua. They can always add him in later, anyway. Although, to be fair, the only reason why uh, Aruto is in here, the, it, like, on this, you know, in the city to begin with, is because he was interested in the AI. Mm. So basically, it takes place on, like, on islands with, like, a lot of scientific developments happen, and one of them was advanced AI. I feel like that's basically one of the characters you meet at the start of the game. A character mm. called AI. Or I. Not to be mistaken with I from uh, Yu Gi Oh! Uh, brains. Mm. Uh. So yeah, right. Gata Carry Bat is broke. Because he has incredible close range, can just knock opponents all over the place, and he has great long range in the form of the um, electricity. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. And then summon a swarm of himself. Yeah. He can, uh, he can summon two copies of himself to attack as well. Oh. So you just... Okay, so not as broken as he does in the show. Where he will summon an entire army. It's still pretty nuts though, in this case as well. Like, yeah. I think 
Alex is dead. Quick, edit a um, you died on screen. If it was O, if it was a grunt from O's, yeah. Yeah, I think it's, yeah. I couldn't quite remember... Well, no, not grunt, sorry, Monster of the Week. Yeah, I think, yeah, this one is a, a yummy because it came out of Gamel. Yeah, all of those guys are back. Fun fact. Meh. As well as uh, every sing, as well as the Sonazaki family. Yeah. Oh, balls not again. Ow. 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 There's no way I can get out of that easily as there is this metal cluster. Basically, he, he has a big sort of hammer thing and he starts that hammer on a flail and he starts flinging it around all over the place. And it's if you're if you're close up to him what he's doing when he starts that, you're just screwed. Mm. And then there's when he bounces around everywhere as a shell. Anyway. Which again is very ah, Right. Um Oh, wanna hit that button. Um right, that's where we're gonna oh, uh, skill tree done again. Okay, I've done this on that one. Oh. Shot this done there. So, yeah, um, okay. what I'll try and remember to do for next week is um, uh, make some crystals, well, crystals, I'll make some gems and uh, adjust everyone's gear and whatnot, so. So yeah, um, continuing the Squadrons campaign tomorrow. So yeah, uh, just follow on Twitch, subscribe on YouTube, and yeah, I'm going to go and now watch um, a batch of comedians making a fool of themselves. All Ooh, for... Are you talking about um, uh, Greedon versus Bravo? No, all for Greg Davis's pleasure. Oh, all right. Night.